Now, in a record six days, a modern house was put up at the late marathoner Kelvin Kiptum's home in Naiberi, was in Kishu County. The construction of the seven million shillings three-bedroomed house came following a directive by President William Ruto as a way of paying tribute to the athletics giant who died in an accident. Serfina Chiang Oma gives you an inside look into the house, which was constructed using modern prefabricated technology and handed over officially to the family. Last week, President William Ruto directed a contractor to ensure that a pair of houses is built for the family of the late athlete Kelvin Cape Tum ahead of his burial. The construction, which kicked off on Friday, was expected to be completed by this week Friday. A week later, a state-of-the-art house had been erected at Kiptum's farm in Naiberi in Wasingishu County, painted in a light cream tint, bringing in the required brightness. As you enter, you see an elegant living room with stylish wallpapers, unique decorations and a cozy furniture, perfect for a home befitting a hero, Kelvin Kiptum who unfortunately didn't live long enough to enjoy his rest here after the long and torturous marathons. The house, which will now be occupied by his family, has three graceful and fancy bedrooms, all master in suit. The house was officially handed over to the family, with residents and Kenyans at large still in awe at how this was achieved in slightly less than a week. It's been uh, seven long nights. Um, at some point, just like the many Kenyans who are trolling it, I was, uh, I, of course, I got a lot of uh, messages and I got a lot of photos sent to me. And at some point, I was also a bit worried uh, whether the end product will actually turn out uh, to be this good. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy. The contractor adopted modern precast or prefabricated technology in the construction of the house at a cost of 7 million shillings. It is something that we're very proud of. Um, this technology has, is not fairly new. It's, it's been here but it's not been um, really gained a lot of traction. We also have discovered something because uh, you know sometimes you have emergency housing um, you know, we, this is one of the technologies that we can be able to champion and the other technology that we're also pushing a lot, especially in the rural areas where people want to build sort of this kind of standalone housing that does not require uh, to go up where, because land is not a, a bit of an issue here. In terms of durability, Nyumbayangu, Tayari got 10 years. Same technology used in other parts of the world. Tayari ko Zaidi Amiyaka New Zealand, South Africa, Kadalika. Uh, America wana tumia hii technology because bau ni baikali kule wana replace bau na na chuma. This happening even as athletes speeches express the welfare concerns many have. We request to be given even security. The loss we have encountered in Kiptum it's so huge to the country and the world. But if we had if we had security at that time or a driver we, we, we don't know the life of someone, but maybe we could have saved him. Javelin star Isaac Yego asked President William Ruto to build a sports training facility in honor of the late Cape Tomb. Mr. President, these athletes are requesting just a little recognition and support. Across the North Rift, the three counties calling themselves in pride of our athletes Unfortunately, there is no training facility that can be used by our athletes. Safin Acheng Oma, Citizen TV.